Good morning to all of you. Thank you very much for inviting me here. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. I am uh, really pleased to be here to, to um, talk to you about intellectual property enforcement, why I think it's so important. Uh, I also consider myself to be uh, very lucky to be on this stage with, with people who've put a lot more time and effort into this than I have. Uh, I've tried over hard over the last three years to do what I think is right, but uh, these gentlemen have been doing it for 30 years, and I uh, recognize there's a big difference between three years and 30 years, and, and uh, you really don't have better friends in Washington or elsewhere than the, the, the gentleman I'm up here with today. All right, well, what the hell am I doing here? Well, here's why I'm here. Uh, I'm here for two reasons. First of all, I value what you do, and second, I think your work uh, deserves to be protected from theft and, and misuse. It's that simple. Let me, let me elaborate on the first point by simply saying this. Thank you. Uh, the members of ASCAP are the reason the American music business is one of our country's greatest success stories. During literally every day of the 235 years our nation has existed, you have brought entertainment, some solace, some excitement to the, every one of the people that live within her shores. And at the same time, the industry that you drive has created jobs, fed families, paid taxes, provided health care on a grand scale. It is no exaggeration, and I mean this sincerely, that our culture, our economy, our identity as a nation would be in a much different, and let's be frank, a much worse place if it weren't for you and the magic that you make each and every day. So. Let me just say thank you, thank you for what you've done, what you do right now, and what you will do in the future. With regard to my second point, most of the time, good things don't happen without hard work. And our founders recognized that the birth of our nation, that innovation requires protection in order to flourish. That is why our Constitution creates a federal responsibility and I quote, to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries. That, ladies and gentlemen, was written by our framers before the First Amendment. The First Amendment is an awfully important and tremendous right, but people lose sight of the fact that intellectual property was written into our Constitution at the birth of our country for a reason, and that is if you don't protect innovation, you lose it. I don't know uh, at why we have such a hard time as a country sometimes with that issue or that idea. Um, the protection of intellectual property to me is just common sense. If innovation can be eaten alive by theft and counterfeiting from the moment of birth, how can we expect composers, artists, and publishers, that is you, to dream, to work hard, to fail, and then get yourself up and try again? Well, we can't. We have to provide that protection. The reality that the process of creating music needs protection from theft is as true as it is today, as it was in 1914 when ASCAP was formed. The same truth is behind the protections in federal law today that implement the constitutional uh, principle that was articulated way back in 1787. Now to those people out there who think uh, music or entertainment generally is less worthy of protection than other forms of intellectual property, I say how so? The innovation behind entertainment is no less dynamic than the innovation behind software development, pharmaceutical research, or engine design. Are the taxes, pensions, salaries, and health care provided by the music industry somehow different than those in other industries? Is job creation less appealing in the music business than it is in the electronics industry or aerospace? Is there something about music that means it should be created and given away for free? Is there something about counterfeit CDs that really distinguishes them from counterfeit airbags, from sportswear, from circuit boards? 
Should a recording artist or a music composer somehow be viewed as less of a victim than a software programmer or an uh, automotive designer? Of course not. I mean, that can't be the answer. You have to be treated equally and fairly, just like anybody else who's in the business of innovation on behalf of this country. And there also shouldn't be any reason that government avoids protecting corporations from crime. We expect businesses to play by the rules, and we should protect them when those same rules are violated by others. Transparent, private-public partnerships directed to a lawful and positive aim, namely the production of good music, is good government, pure and simple. So how can we work together to tackle the problem of uh, IP crime? Well, help us understand the theft that you face in your particular uh, space. It's, streaming is a big concern, illegal streaming. Give us good leads to investigate. Can't ever expect the government to understand your business as well as you do, and we're all sunk if you rely on us to do that. Uh, and then get out there and make sure that the public understands the problem that you face and understands your industry in very real and tangible ways. One of the challenges that we face is that when people in the general public think about intellectual property crime, they're not thinking about you, real people working hard, trying to make it the American dream, you know, take care of your families, make an industry vibrant. They think about, oh, well, somehow it's about the entertainment industry making an extra $5 at the end of the day, you know, for the, the barons that run the thing. No, I mean, that's not what it's about. It's about real people on the ground who are creative, trying to make a great industry, a great business, great now and great in the future. And you need to make sure that people understand it. It's real people behind the music industry. It's not a bunch of corporations. So with that, let me thank you all for inviting me. Uh, thank you very much for uh, inviting the rest of this panel. I think you're, you've got some really talented people up there. And I'll just leave you with the thought of you're, you're in a great business, uh, one of the greatest businesses our country has ever seen. You're one of our greatest exports. You're one of our greatest innovations. And uh, you should take enormous pride in that. That's why I get up every day and think that, you know, while I have this job, I'm going to fight hard uh, to protect what you do, because I think it's the right answer for the country. Uh, it also happens to be federal law, and uh, that's important too. And uh, just a big thank you. You guys are a great industry. You do a lot of great things.